Welcome to East Lansing, Michigan, Spartan Stadium and home of the Michigan State Spartans. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Michigan State Spartans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Deep, he'll bring it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Michigan's offense will get the first swing of the game. A state divided. They started playing for the Paul Bunyan Trophy, the big wooden lumberjack, back in the early 50s when Sparty joined the Big Ten. And it's so nice to have you, Reese, to have all those dad Going for a big play right off the bat. And it falls incomplete, but that could have been disastrous. The defender was right there. This crowd, full throat, splitting the eardrums and letting him know it's going to be a long day. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And they're starting to bring some noise here on this early third and ten. To the air, it's Orgy. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to take off. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. Used the play fake. Now to throw. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. And now on second down for this offense. He'll keep it himself. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to run for it. And boy, is he close to that first down. Maybe just a couple of inches short. The Wolverines line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. So the Michigan State Spartans offense has its first opportunity of the day. One thing to keep an eye on in this game, when they get a back isolated on a linebacker, who wins that matchup? Quarterback likes the matchup, but this linebacker, he's different, man. Not only is he a hitter, he's got the athleticism to cover people, too. Normally you say that's a win for the running back. The running back on a linebacker, I win. But this guy is different. Interested to watch this matchup. Trying play action. Grabbed over the middle. It's Young. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. On third and short, the run and looking for the first down. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. The Spartans look to keep this drive humming. They're going to ride this running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. They're testing the right side here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Blasted as he lets it go. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete, and fourth down's coming.
The ball hits at the five, and it'll go into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. After not getting a thing done on first down, it's second and long from the 24. The play action fake. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Let's it fly. Another incompletion on third down. And the Wolverines send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He gets a block. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll give it to the back. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Going to run it. It's Carter. And he's all close to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And the Spartans have it with a first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They finally make the stop at the big run. He's plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They go to the ground. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Motion from the offense. To the ground with the back. Brought to the ground, but not before getting it up for the first down. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and ten again. They'll leave it with him. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Well, based on that, we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started. They've got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. He let that thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Just too much heat that time, and they knock him down at the 31. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. Knocked it right through, showing that big range from 48 yards out. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. From inside the 10, here he comes. 
Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the back. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Back to throw. It's Orgy. Unloads to the wideout. Connection to the right. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The running back has it. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Movement here from the tight end. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch. Making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. Here's the handoff. And he used that big, powerful stiff arm to extend the play and pick up a few extra yards. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll go right back to the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. The Wolverines line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And I don't think they got it snapped before the play clock ran out. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. And he got a hand on it to knock it down in the end zone. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. And he missed it. No good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play call. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Now on first down from the 30. They'll try the right side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Well, that's not Lamar Jackson back there scrambling around. This is a guy the defense felt like if we can get him out of the pocket and flush him, we can get after him and chase him, bring him down. And they did that one pretty easy there, getting the sack. The Spartans will line up to punt it away. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. Oh. 
Secures it at the 30. The solid return there offsets some of the run yardage and really sets up his offense nicely. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Orgy. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Fires to the wideout. Caught over the middle. It's Morgan. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw it again. Unloads it left. And wings it incomplete. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. From the gun. Wants to pass. Another incompletion on third down. And the Wolverines will send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. Quick handoff. And he could not get loose on the run. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Finds his man. It's Carter. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. A new set of downs after the completion. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out fast. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. Throws for the tight end. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught close to the marker. It's Harachek. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Looking to move it through the air. Makes a connection. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage and they've got it on the 22. They'll throw it on first down. Just too much heat that time and they knock him down at the 31. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the pass. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. And maybe this guy was hoping somebody would bail him out, like a tuck rule or something. <laughs> Not going to be so lucky this time around. Give the defense credit. This pass rush is serious. It's real. And this quarterback is now going to have to play with a clock in his head that's going off just a little bit quicker. He's got to do a better job understanding when to get ready. To the air. It's Orgy. He's got his man. This game often testier than Michigan's rivalry with Ohio State. The Wolverines applied a little extra sting winning a close one last year. He did. You know, it just left a bad taste. And everybody's back in East Lansing all year long. They've talked about it. They've had to hear about it. They've listened to the gloating from their in-state rival. They're looking to flip the script today. And that's what's so fun about rivalries. You can get bragging rights, and especially in the same state. So much disdain for each other. It's so awesome. The fans go bananas, and Michigan State's definitely got something to prove. Trying to find his man on first down. And he's got it! Touchdown, Michigan! This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. No shot at a return. It's out of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. After the incompletion, it's second and ten from their own 25. He's looking to throw. Fires into traffic and intercepted. Got him down quickly after the pick, but man, do you have to take care of the ball down here, and they didn't. They'll mark it at the 27. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Got his man on the right. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. The offense will quickly use a timeout. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wolverines. The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 14-3. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. First down for this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. Got it, behind the line, it's Young. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Feeling some heat. And the sack all the way back at the five. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, it's one thing to have a rivalry game, but when you have two longtime foes separated by 65 miles battling for a prize like the Paul Bunyan Trophy, you know emotions tend to run high. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Michigan State plays out. The Wolverines will boot it away to start the second half. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. To the air on first down. Got it. In the middle, it's Parachek. I think that time offensively, we're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. you got your big fellow just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Unloads to the right. That is just a sideline play. Roll, catch, toe drag, everything you want. 
Really nice job on that throw, just giving his guy an opportunity to catch the ball. Kind of reminds me about Bill Burke, a guy I played against back in the Citrus Bowl when I was playing. He was throwing to Plaxico Burris, and he just kept putting the football in Plax's range, and we just couldn't stop the two of them. They went up and down the field on us all day long throwing it. If you just give your guy a chance like he did right there, I don't know if this defense can stop them. On the ground, it's Carter. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. And the Spartans want to move quickly. Paul Bunyan, a huge part of trophies in the Big Ten. He's got an axe. He's got this trophy for the Spartans and the Wolverines. Where do you guys rank this trophy? Yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, there's so many trophy games, I feel like, in the Big Ten, David. I, this game, obviously, it always has Big Ten implications, national championship implications. I will be honest, Paul Bunyan trophy gives me the heebie-jeebies about that. You don't like it, it just kind of kind of gives you the heebie-jeebies. I hear you, but how about Reese throwing a ranking on this? Rank the trophies? Reese, what are we doing here? We're not ranking trophies. Huge rivalry game, a lot of emotions. We're not talking about ranking trophies. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. It's complete! He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. The Spartans are moving quickly down the field. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting to his progression. The defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or some safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and ten. They think they can create space here with a run to the right. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and twelve. Keeps it on the bootleg. They're bringing heat. And the blitz gets to him just like that. You can just see the excitement this defense has every play. They're almost wishing this quarterback drops back to throw because they know they're going to get home to him. That's the sixth time they've registered a sack. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. They got more sacks than a grocery store. Goodness gracious, time and time again, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground, this defense having their way. And the Spartans will bring the punt team onto the field. Punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Looking for a gap. It's Hall. Touchdown, Michigan State. Not content to get the fumble. They scored with the fumble. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Man, you just go over the offense like, bro, we don't need you today. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense doing what they need to do, and then go talk a little trash to the offense. They're going to go ahead and go for two here and try to make it a field goal game. He'll set up to throw. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they trim more off of that lead. They're out there to kick it off. The return team must rivet that ball to their rib cage. Can't afford another turnover. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. 
What an effort getting to the quarterback there. You think about Michigan State D-line and Jarrell Worthy, Shalit Calhoun, guys that would use their frame to their advantage and you just could not block them. This guy has physical ability. He's got a lot of things you can't coach. One of those is that frame and he used it right there to his advantage. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Coming after it. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Oh, that, that's that that might be a little too close for comfort for me. Uh with all the play caller. I, I wanna I wanna create some space. I wanna take a shot, maybe throw the football down the field, but whew, I want my quarterback to know, like, listen, hey, we're really close. Like we're we're a bad spot away from two points for the other team. And this defense has squatters rights in the backfield. Back-to-back -back sacks, and the crowd is insane. He leaves it with the back. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. And the Wolverines will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He's got great speed. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Michigan State has the ball back, and here comes the offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Got it in the middle, it's Carter. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. Now down to the 12-yard line, it's first down. Nowhere to run on that one, he loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one, now it's second and 14. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. He caught it! He stopped just short of the goal line, but they'll have it first and goal from the one. Defense rolling out the big bodies to try to stuff the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Tries again to get it in. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. They've already squandered a couple of chance to score touchdowns in the red zone, and now another opportunity. It's third and goal. Trying to pound their way in. Touchdown, Spartans! They take the lead with the six. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Sam Houston is in the unusual position of having to come from behind right now, but there's not a soul who doesn't believe they can't pull this off. They're trailing by 10 to U10. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Takes the handoff. It's Hall. Finds Zach Brees, and he's got four out to the 29. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. The Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll pull it on the read. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. So after the first down run, here's second down. The gift to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to pass, it's Orgy. 
He's got his man. And the Wolverines will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Three tight ends in the formation on first and ten. They're trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. Second down. That's the end of the quarter, and Michigan State has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. To come to the line hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And it's incomplete despite some serious arm strength shown there. The Spartans decide to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Just needs a crack to get a return. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Looking for space. It's Hall. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Let's see what they've got on second down. Running back searching for a hole. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Dropping back, it's Orgy. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. How frustrating for an offense to not only see the extra defensive back with the dime package, but still have their quarterback get hit. Yeah, when you go down, this is a passing situation. And if you're a defensive lineman, I'm pinning my ears back. I'm not playing the slightest bit of run. I don't care if they run the football. I'm getting to the quarterback. Nice job understanding that, rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Here's, oh, and now the ball has been knocked free. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. You get field position like this, and you're not likely to punt the way they did the last time they had the ball. Yeah, great job by the defense setting them up in an opportunity to get some points on the board. Today. This is an opportunity you've got to capitalize on this field position. You must come away with points here if you're on offense. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Marshall. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Out of the gun. The inside handoff looking for a crease. And the first guy couldn't get him, but the second one does, but not until he picks up the first down. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Off play action. Got his man quickly. It's important on offense to get the tight ends involved in the passing game. These are big fellas that can run. This guy's a big target. So nice job on that play. Getting some heat. Again. They move on top here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game.
If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays, and the scoring play came on the 12-yard run. He'll start the return inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Spartans have it back on offense, hoping to play some good ball. On the move, it's Carter. Open space at the 25. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll give it to him again. Still running at the 40. They'll move the change after he gets it to the 43-yard line. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. He's going to pass. Finds a tight end. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Just a short pass to the tight end. We well, hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the Spartans will punt this one away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. Leads it with the back. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Give to the running back. The Wolverines are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Leaves it with the back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And the Wolverines are flying down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Second down coming up. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for a man. It's Orgy. He's right on target. They get him down after he makes the catch. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. The Wolverines line up to punt it away. We've reached a two-minute warning and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. They'll start this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle, it's Paracek. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. And he can't get it off, taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. What a nice play by the defense. Not only get pressure, get the sack. Why is that big? The clock continues to run now. The offense is going to be in scramble mode. They're down, and they're fighting the clock. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Quickly complete. And he will not get there. Pushed, shoved, and denied. And ridden out of bounds short of the first. 
after taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Might as well keep pounding that rock at this point in the game, even though it's second and 12. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. They'll try to get the edge on the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. With that field goal, now it takes a touchdown to beat them. So you want to pin them back and then let the defense have a little room to work with. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he can't find anyone open and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth double time hustling to the line to stop the clock they've got to move quickly here still a chance but they've got to force the ball down the field on third down he drops the throw got him downfield and they'll finally catch up to him but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up offense rushing to the line of scrimmage clock is stopped for the first down they'll try to get it off quickly Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. Dialing up a second down pass play. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. Coming up. Fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete. And that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. And the offense is content with where it is. They'll take a knee. They say every game counts the same in the standings, and that is true, but there are some games that no matter what the coaches say, they just mean a little more, and they hurt a little more if you lose. They do, and that's a fact, and every player will tell you that. There are some games that are highlighted before the season that this game matters more, and it's not that the other ones don't matter. It's just that the hate runs so deep for some of these rivalries and some of these kids that grew up across the street from each other that went to different schools, Jesse. You can feel it. David, you're absolutely right. And I wonder, because it was a rivalry game, did the losing team get a little overhyped? It just looked like they were pressing too much in this football game. They too, made too many uncharacteristic mistakes, and as a result, they take the L. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.